YouTube. This is the second Lead Canadian tutorial, and today I'll show you how to get uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit or 64 bit free, completely free. So, uh, just a as you can see, I have it. I have Windows 7 Ultimate here. Mine is a 64 bit. And it's activated. And also, don't type in this product ID. It won't work. Don't try it. So, first of all, open up your web browser or then go to the link in the description for uh, uh, like the Pirate Bay. Go to the link to the Pirate Bay for the for whichever one. If you have a 64-bit, go to the 64-bit link. If not, go to the 32-bit. Okay. So, after you get there, go ahead and download the torrent. It's only 3 gigs. It shouldn't take too long. After you download that, get a program like um, Power ISO. Something I can burn it properly. Here's Power ISO. You can go ahead and download it. There's a free trial. So, after you do that, burn the ISO file to a DVD. And that should take quite a while because it's a big ISO. Okay, after you've finished burning the ISO, you should see when you put in the disk you should see this that's good so next what you want to do go to the other link I gave you for the for Windows 7 activator by Hazar it works and there's a small chance that it that it won't work in that case I don't know what to do but it should work for most people so go ahead and download that, and here are the files. This is what you should have. That's what it looks like. This is Windows 7 Activator. So then what you want to do, uh, put in the disk for Windows 7, and then uh, start the installation. I'm not going to do it since I obviously have it installed. So what you would do, you uh, let it run all its tests, and when it asks you what what type of installation you want it do, want to go with, sit and click on um, if you have uh, Windows Vista Home Premium or Windows Vista Ultimate, then it's safe to do the upgrade version where you would keep all of your files and programs, although you'd need to defragment your computer afterwards. If not, you would have to do the custom installation, which would wipe everything off your hard drive. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. I don't, I don't care, it's your choice. So, after that, there's another, there's another page you'd come up with that you'd encounter. It'll ask you if you want to activate it. Say, Uncheck the box that says activate. Um, check the box that says activate online automatically. Make sure you do that. That's very important. And then uh, choose the option uh, activate later. So yeah. So then just continue with the installation after that. Finish it off. Then it should restart your computer, and you'll have Windows Vista working, or Windows 7 working. And your, your graphics driver, your video driver, will most likely be gone, so you'd have to go ahead and download that again. You can use Driver Genius Professional Edition, search it up. There are plenty of videos that show you how to get that free. 
I may even make a tutorial myself. So, after you have that, and you want to activate it, since you only have 30 days with this version, because it's only for uh, product developers, or software developers, to use. Well, it was. Then, you open this up, and it should open a command prompt. Then, just follow what it does. Don't mind if it looks like something wrong is happening. It, it's, it works. It's, it's a trusted program. So, just let it do its thing. It should uh, restart itself, restart your computer, maybe sometimes even multiple times. After that's done, you'll have a Windows 7 Ultimate activated and ready to use. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to get Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. This is the second Elite Canadian tutorial. Bye.